it's been uh, three months since world leaders were in town for APEC, the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit. State agencies fronted millions of dollars to provide security for the high-profile event with the thought that Uncle Sam would pick up the tab. So why are lawmakers being asked for emergency funds for APEC-related costs? Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Kenny Choi. No one knows for sure when Hawaii may be reimbursed for the money it fronted to provide security for the high-profile APEC event. The state applied for the funds last month under a new process. And KITV4 News has learned that more than half a dozen state departments may run out of money before the end of the year if the shortfall isn't covered. Catherine Cruz has our top story. The Hawaii National Guard was out in force during APEC, as was state civil defense personnel. State Adjutant General Darrell Wong says his department alone spent $2 million to help city police provide security around town as the heads of state gathered for meetings on Oahu. We expended almost all our fourth quarter funds to, to provide for APEC. That's why Wong is asking for $3 million as a kind of safety net to cover the budgets for various agencies until the Department of Homeland Security releases federal grant money to cover the costs. The emergency money would be set aside to defray personnel costs for workers with DLNR who provided nearshore monitoring for harbor safety. It will also cover money spent by public safety, the Attorney General's office, as well as judiciary, and the Departments of Transportation, Health, and Accounting and General Services. DOD is asking the federal government for $7 million on behalf of the city and state, but there are restrictions on what it could ask to be reimbursed for. They limit it to things, costs like overtime costs. You couldn't purchase equipment for the National Guard. We could repay for the use of gas and things. Um, you know, you couldn't go out and buy another computer. The city is asking for $5 million as part of its share, but according to Wong, the city can't be reimbursed under this grant for things like the additional traffic cameras it purchased or for uniforms or firearms and ammunition. At this point in time, it's not clear how the various departments who did purchase equipment will get their money back. But we're going to use as many different uh, streams of money to make everyone whole again. Now, Wong says Hawaii is the first state to go through this new process to apply for the Homeland Security Grant. So there's no telling when the federal government will cut a check to cover those costs. Back to you. All right. Well, Catherine, uh, will the money cover private companies at all then? Well, actually, yes, but only one. Hawaiian Electric has put in for about $95,000. It's to cover costs to provide backup generators at the Hawaii Convention Center and at hotels where the APEC events took place. All right. Catherine Cruz reporting tonight from the newsroom. Thank you very much.